I just want to give you uh, a glimpse into what God says is coming. Um, we will talk about just a few prophecies concerning the new year, and we are combining individuals as well as general uh, for the world. We we'll say one or two things. As for the Redeemed Christian Church of God, you will hear that from your pastors at the right time. For the world, the Almighty God said that the weather pattern will be more erratic. As the word is used, more erratic. It will, the, the weather condition will, will not be very nice in some places but we're trusting God it will be nice wherever we are but he says that the world this year will be relatively more peaceful relatively more peaceful as for individuals and generally speaking, number one, he said, uh, there are some people, your biggest challenge of 2022 will lead to your biggest testimonies in 2023. He also says that he will speak peace to some troubled homes. He said for quite a few people, there will be restoration of lost glories. This one I like a lot. He said, many troublemakers will lose the ability to make troubles. They just won't have what it takes to make trouble anymore. Ah. And he says that this, this is the best way to say it without getting into trouble. He said, quite a few balloons will be deflated this year. I also like this one. He said there will be a bit of wealth transfer. You say, ah, is that all you are going to say? Well, <laughs> There was a uh, news, I think about two or three days ago, that in Ghana, the police says any prophet who prophesies anything that can cause fear will be arrested. You say that is in Ghana. Ghana is next door. <laughs> and the others have a problem. They said, uh, Arabaturamu, O 
Those of you don't understand that there is no problem. When you are older, you will know. <laughs> Father, I just want to say thank you. Oh God, thank you. Thank you that whatever the enemy planned, the enemy failed. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Please bless the offering of your children. Sanctify it. Use it for your glory. As for all who have given, Lord God Almighty, throughout this year, don't let them spend for Satan. Don't let them spend on sickness. Don't let them spend on funerals. Whatever they have now, my Father and my God, let it be the least they will ever have. And the grace to give so that you can return to them abundantly. Give to them in Jesus' name. My Father, my God, you have told me that this will be a year of many opportunities. I decree that your children will not miss any of them. Go with your children. Prosper them this year. Protect them this year. Defend them this year. Promote them this year. Let them go from glory to glory. From success to success. From good news to good news. In all areas of their life, let it be well with them. And let them serve you like never before. As they go on their way, let there be miracles. Even by the time we meet for our annual Thanksgiving at 10 a.m., let your children already have major testimonies. Thank you, my Father and my God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. If you are blessed already, let me hear you shout hallelujah. <laughs>